They just said they didn't get to her when they did. She probably wouldn't have been here. Linda Ann Carlucci is overcome with emotion when she talks about the day her daughter, Haley Ortiz, nearly died after gym class at Division Avenue High School. Basically, she was really considered legally dead. Her heart completely stopped. On October 17th, Haley was in the girls' locker room when she started complaining to a friend that she wasn't feeling well. Her friend immediately ran to the nurse's office for help. There's something wrong. You need to come to the gym. My friend, I, I think she's having a seizure. Nurses Patty Levy and Debbie Larkin responded to the students' pleas. We immediately jump up, we grab our emergency bag, and we just start going. We don't know exactly where it is at the time. They found Haley collapsed on the locker room floor. She had no pulse, she wasn't breathing. While the nurses tended to Haley, members of the school's emergency response team rushed to the scene. Phys ed teacher Brian Maloney ran into the locker room with an AED to resuscitate Haley. When the AED recommended a shock, it was like, oh no, like, that's serious. And then um, the AED admitted one shock. So I shocked her, and then when all of a sudden it told me to start doing CPR, I began doing compressions and, you know, and the nurses did the breathing. Haley's heart started beating again. We're just beyond grateful. Doctors say Haley's seizure was caused by a genetic heart disorder. Haley doesn't remember her harrowing ordeal, but she's thankful for her team of lifesavers. They've made a very big impact on my life, and I'm very grateful for them. Best thing ever was having her come into the health office when she ultimately came back and being able to put your arms around her and, you know, give her a hug, and that's, that's really all we hope for. I just want to thank everybody. It means the world. It really does. In Levittown, Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island. An amazing team effort by all of them to save that girl's life. Now, members are of the community are also helping Haley with medical and other expenses by contributing to a GoFundMe page.